Um, this is Year of Impossible Good Guys by Sigmund Pai, and this is Saki. And this story is about um, the main character, Sukan, and her family, which, um, and what happened in 1945. When the this, when this story of Impossible Goodbye starts, there you will know the main, the background and the characters. The main character is Sukan. June 1945, high on 60th birthday when everyone having lots of fun. However, Captain Harder comes earlier than expected and everything is destroyed. Later in the afternoon, Captain Harris is um, ordered to cut the pine trees Japanese train Korean police. It was the best way to punish Grandfather because the tree was special to him. Well, Grandfather's not uh, June 945. Grandfather's not feeling well. He tells Mother to show Sukan and in Chan their family picture from a long time ago. Grandfather dies three days after Haiwan's birthday and three days after the pine trees chopped down. July 1945, Sukun must attend the Japanese school because she received a letter from Captain Narita's protestants. Sukun's meet new people like Unki and Narita Seisei at school. July 1945, Sukun is expelled from the school by clapping hands with delight when a boy shouted, Stop, stop, don't you know that we will stab your bastards first? We'll help the Americans destroy you all. Killers. After that, Sukun was hit hard by a ruler, and no one saw a shouting boy ever again. July 1945, Aunt Tiger mother trade their pins for white rice because they're very hungry. Mother decides to polish her silver hairpin, which was from her mother who died in fire. Aunt Tiger decided to polish her gold hairpin, which is from her husband. Both are very important things to them. August 1945, mother becomes seriously ill. She became thinner and pale each day. Can't retain food. She starts talking to people who are not even there. August 1945, the war is finally over. At August, now Sukun and family can wear their Korean national coat, traditional clothes called Hanbok. Now Sukun can plant her seeds that she was wishing for a long time. All of the town people can speak Korean at anywhere and the current flag is black. black. The American and the Russians have split Korea into two and made a border called the 38th Power. Russians are in the side of North Korea and the Americans are in the side of South Korea. Sukhan's family is forced to be the part of party members attend meetings for the communists. September 1945, Sukhan and Nichiren must go to Little Pulitzer School. In school, they have to tell about their families if something strange happened or not. They are being separated from their parents at meetings. October 1945, Mother Sukun and Inchun going to escape to the south with the guide. Aunt Tiger and Kisa can't because they have to cover Mother Sukun and Inchun safely across the Soviet Valley. They all know that maybe it is their last time seeing each other. October 1945, Mother has been separated at the passport check <coughs> and Inchun and Sukun alone with the guide. However, the guide was a double agent and they didn't know what to do. Together alone, they meet many kind people who give food and also tells how to escape to the south. October 1945, with many hunger and pain, finally Inchun and Sukun able to cross the border. Once they were in the south, they are safe. Soon Inchun and Sukun was rescued by the Red Cross Center. October 1945, finally at their new homes in South Korea, they went to their new schools. Oldest brother Hong Chun went to the university Beltonary School at Seoul University. Jae Chun was still recovering from tuberculosis. Han Chun had decided to be a diplomat and was studying at the Persian Language University. The new house idol was a real fortune. March 1946. Mother appears to the new house six months later. Mother was supposed to be shipped to Sparia, but one of the Russian clans who lived near the border who needed someone to cook and clean. One monsoon night, mother had no specific plan but decided to cross the border. Was a milk and she was able to cross the border. June 1953, the war broke out and many North Korean communist soldiers filled the street of Seoul. Theresa and other nuns finally made their way to Sukun's house.
Kisa and Aunt Tiger were shot, the machine guns, because the town lives and the Russians found out. One due to descriptions of Inchan. His personality is very optimistic from page 31. Inchan, Inchan's eyes sparkle filled his tears. I saw him run inside to the kitchen to grab a wooden bucket. He's very light from page 101. The young soldiers lifted Inchan up, threw it after him in midair and laughed. Always with Sukhan from page 42. As you Inchan was right behind me like a shadow. Have your brave heart from page 128. Inchan just listened and did not say a thing. Always paying attention from page 50. Well then why does this bundle have 11 pairs and this one 15? They would have been in trouble by not making a bundle and correct number. There was a wild woman living inside a little boy, mother said from page 65. How he looks, he has a soft black hair from page 101. The soldier put him down gently, pat an inch in soft black hair. Skinny from page 91. His little bony knees stuck out awkwardly. His pale little face from page 128. Gentle twinkle in his big dark eyes from page 65. Little dirty because he likes to in the dirt from page 90. He, ha he wear button down shirt from page 91. I'm done. Thank you.